Siri. Mm -hmm. Turn on PC. Okay, done. Device has been woken up. I just feel like I've been doing quite a few of these tutorial videos about how to turn on your PC with your voice. Although there are probably a bunch more on here on YouTube. Anyhow, today I'm going to walk you through how we can actually set up an iPhone and therefore Siri to turn on any PC. Also, this video will contain every single information you need to successfully set this up and it will even work when the PC is fully shut down. First of all, let's make our PC ready for the wake online command. For this, I'm going through the settings of my BIOS slash UEFI. Now, every manufacturer's BIOS will vary from each other, but the idea is the same. On my Asus Tough motherboard, I have to go to the advanced tab and turn on some settings such as the enable enable the power on by PCIe Express slash PCI setting under the APM settings. Then there is also this setting that is better to keep disabled as this one can interfere with the Wacom lens simply by turning the voltage down too low. It's called the ERP ready setting. By the way, this method works best with a wired connection, so a LAN. Wi-Fi can work as well, but your network adapter must support a wireless Wacom LAN standard. And it also only would work if your PC is in a standby mode and not a fully shut down state. Now that's done, we will need to check if all the necessary settings are turned on in our network settings within Windows. Right click on your network slash internet access icon on the bottom right corner and go to the network and internet settings. Then go to advanced network settings, extend your main ethernet device you are currently using and click on edit then configure. On the second tab here you will have to change some settings. Make sure you have the latest network driver. Previously this happened to me where I couldn't see all the settings here but as soon as I downloaded the driver from Intel's website it all appeared. So the settings we need to turn on here is first the enable power management event or PME. This will help with receiving a signal on your network. Then the next one is energy efficient ethernet, which needs to be turned off along with the ultra low power mode and system idle power saver. And then finally the wake on magic packet needs to be enabled so that the PC actually turns on when it receives the signal. Oh, and before I forgot, it's best to turn off the allow the computer to turn off this device to save power setting in the power management tab as well. By the way, shout out to one of my viewers who mentioned this solution in one of my previous videos. Big thanks to you. Next step is to disable the fast boot slash startup in our Windows because this can also cause some issues with the wake on LAN after an extended period of shutdown time. Now this is a bit tricky to find but the quickest and easiest way I find this setting is by opening the control panel then selecting the power option. Note if you're using a laptop you can right click on the battery on the bottom right corner then select the same setting. Then select choose what the power buttons do. Click change settings that are currently unavailable, then untick the first option, the turn on fast startup and save it. After all that is done, we can start by setting up our iPhone and we can download this free app from the App Store called Wallow. Now if you want, you can install the Wallow Companion app on the PC as well. And with that, the app on the phone will easily find the PC. However, there is also another way by just simply finding the IP and the MAC address of your PC and adding it to the app. You can find these by opening your network and internet settings again, and then just clicking on your ethernet that you are currently using. Then just type the name your MAC address, then your IP twice. The Actually, the second one is for pinging, aka monitoring the, through the app if your PC is on or off. And then, as it says on the bottom, try port 9, which is generally supported by most of the network adapters. If that's done, we can simply test it to see if it's working. If all works as it should, then we can move on to set up the shortcut applet so that we can ask Siri to turn on the PC for us. 
In the shortcut app, press the plus icon to create a new one, then tap on the add action. Search for the Wallo app and then select the wake up device. Here we just need to select our PC by tapping on the device and selecting the one that we just recently set up. And lastly, all we have to do is to name this shortcut to whatever we want to so that Siri recognizes it and then it will trigger it for us. Click done and test it. Siri. Mm -hmm. Turn on PC. Okay, done. Device has been woken up. And that's about it. Now you just have to figure it out what kind of a lazy excuse you need to come up with to actually use this method rather than just a simple button press on your PC.